Jeeves. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders are on. More of those soon. I don't need a chaplain telling you what battles. People underestimate how you the real battle is arguing with you. Hikaro commands my blade. Definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind.
I should check it out. Looks like the officer used some kind of harpoon to take this machine down. Must have attacked the camp. Maybe my focus can help me figure out why. Harpoon weapon. With anchors? Were they? <laughs> they were trying to take down that tall neck. So the Osram wanted to weigh down that tall neck and strip it for parts. The machines must have caught them in the act. I wish there was a way to climb up and inspect the damage. Unless I take down the tall neck myself and try to repair it on the ground. It wouldn't be pretty, but. At least it'll get fixed. Looks like machines get to this one, too. I've already used that ballista. I should look... That sounds like trouble. And I need more anchors. I also must have set up other ballistas in the area. I just gotta find them. There's probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. We use them to take down that tall neck. Hello to you too! Better ballista can help me fight these machines. <laughs> Another ballista. It's got one of the anchors I need. One more should weigh it down enough. I need to hurry.
Careful to use that ballista. I should look for others in the area. These are tall neck antennas. The officer must have stripped them, probably. Those harpoons. That weapon still has an acre. Let's use it. Big guy, but if I can override you, I can figure out what needs fixing. This is where I find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe they have some of the ground. That's true. I don't know if I find them down in one of these structures. Water's pouring out of that building. What the Poseidon's doing? I better check it out. Poseidon's been through here. Camping here. Looks like. So close oh, to drowning, maybe not not to the embers, M Moreland. It's over. Well, not for me. It's not. 
and you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appears. Yeah, okay, um... Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I... I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm, machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule, mm. hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Hey, Lord. Morland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Oh, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promise me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. He took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver, and a true showman. Well, I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. Amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. As you'll see, 
if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy that... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women. Games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's gotta be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. Like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken and not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbott Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osram to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. <laughs> get a oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrapper sap. <laughs> Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. 
I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. Sometime, a dream has to die. Morland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Morland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled with tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. And you? Me? Who do you think handled the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two... Eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do, do, no, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. I mean, we got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. What now? Fine. Take a look at what I have. I'll 
be going. Finally. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. Rome must be part of Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. But how to get up there? This is where Marlon said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. There's the herd. I should have the parts I need. Machines. I deal with them first.
Oh, the storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great. Synthetic membrane. Okay, that takes care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Millen's diving bubble.
got the compressed air capsule. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. Thought we were finally Better going get to get away to from this place. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light and from a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. <sighs> You're a warning. Thanks, that might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. down here somewhere gotta find where it's hiding Drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. machines down here. I'll have to swim around them. Get to cover. Oh, 
for Yeti. Should we use the pump node? There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. the way from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. One node down. I'm gonna swim back up and find the access point for the second node. According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the dome. Should get me to the second one. Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency current to the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. There's red light in that tower. Let's look at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But, how to get in? Looks like part of this building collapsed. I'm 
might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Should be a console in here. There. I may join this place out. That did it. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the room. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Siphon. At least the purge didn't get rid of all of the water. left these machines behind. Could sneak by them. Deal with a big one first. Okay. Poseidon is through there. Where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Oh! <laughs> this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. If the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Dell. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage.
Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. You guys all right? More than all right. This... you... we did it! <laughs> All the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little remnant. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right. Of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond this door. Okay, Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. That's our own code activated. Restoring the sign subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. The Roman crew must have headed back up top. All the numbers they could carry, I bet.
elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Nice not to have to climb back up. always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Yeah, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I find a place with more water. Thank <laughs> you.